So this will be a mini review on the Note Color, which is currently running Honeycomb on an external SD card. So this tablet is actually running on Deepest Blue Preview 04 uh, ROM. So there's still quite a few bugs here and there, but overall it's quite responsive and it's able to respond quite well. So firstly, I bring you to the market app. I think which most of you would be quite interested in. So most of <coughs> it's running the latest, the latest market, and most of the apps are actually available here. But there's a, there's some issues with the market. As you can see, it's actually flickering now and then. But other than that, you're able to download apps of the market. That but know that not all apps are actually compatible with the Honeycomb yet. So you might have to wait for a while for more optimization to be made. So next would be game so let's try running Angry Birds on it so actually Angry Birds works quite well although there's still definitely some optimization to be made in the graphics engine then that it works pretty well yep so next would be the browser function which I think most of you will be quite interested in so loading is quite fast it's able to support pinch and zoom the keyboard is quite well though I prefer the ginger red keyboard so let's try something like this so it actually loads quite fast on Wi-Fi, so it's quite smooth as well. Pinch and zoom, no issue. Yep. So next would be Quadrant Standard. So actually I tried running Quadrant, Quadrant Standard on this, then and, and it's quite comparable to other tablets like the Galaxy Tab. You actually manage, manage to run, you manage to achieve uh, 1.1, no, 1.7 megahertz on this. So I'll post a separate screenshot on how the benchmark runs. So, so next would be other games such as Ninja Rush, Ninja Kaka, which actually works quite well with this tablet. So So graphic is quite smooth and you're able to kill the birds and whatnot. And one one new noticeable thing about this tablet is that there's a few new functions so that if you want to add a widget, there's no longer press and hold. So once you press and hold you enter this screen. So you're able to add the widgets you want. For example, if you want to add this, so you click, you hold it, you drag it to the screen you want, then you release. Yep. And you appear there. So we're actually able to customize how it goes. But know that not it's not as smooth as other tablets as honeycomb is still a unfinished product. So you have to wait for more developments on it. So Next will be the multi-touch test. So it only supports up to two points multi-touch. So when you add a third point, there's no response. Why on that pinch zoom things that support two point multi-touch shouldn't be an issue. Yep. Then basic functions such as calculator works very well. Then music. So know that the music part is not really the UI is still not there yet, but music music playing is quite is quite well done. But know that you definitely get better performance by running Honeycomb on the internal memory rather than on the SD card. But know that I'm actually using a class 10 memory card to reduce the lags. But internal memory will always still internal memory will still be the best choice. 
so yeah that's that's about it another function would be this button which brings up applications which you used recently <coughs> so all the applications which are open will be shown here then one more thing will be the settings so note that settings have a new UI so you're able to scroll on the left side and the menu will appear on the right side compared to the older builds of Android so this is a small overview on the Honeycomb tablet there's definitely more things to be done on this tablet but currently I think that this is one of the more worth it tablets to get under the 350 price point thanks for viewing